we are sailing on the Disney Dream for Christmas. I am so excited. We're in the car, we're heading there now, and uh, yeah, we're gonna take you along embarkation day and show you everything that we get into on our very ma merry Christmas it'll sailing. Be the, it'll be the best Christmas ever. Sure will. The best Christmas! So I'm finally getting my hands on an oat milk gingerbread chai latte. And I'm trying to tell my husband that they taste better in holiday cups because the lady was gonna give me a regular cup. I was like, can I have a holiday cup, please? He was like, are you serious? I, I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. It's the same drink. It, it's, it tastes the same. This cup, this cup, any cup. So to go on the cruise, we actually flew into Fort Lauderdale and then we caught the Disney shuttle from the airport to the port. Now it was only about a 15 minute drive, so they say, but we'll get into that in a second. I just wanted to show you where exactly you can pick up the Disney shuttle bus because it wasn't very clear when we got there. So if you are in terminal one, you can go all the way down the escalator to ground transportation and you're gonna find their little kiosk right beside baggage claim five and four. It's right across from Southwest check-in and you'll see other cruise lines there as well. So just keep your eyes out for Disney. On the shuttle bus, the Disney shuttle bus. What's supposed to be a 15 minute drive? And almost, and it's now like a 30, 35 minute drive. <laughs> we're on, yeah, it's been a while. Um, a lot of traffic, but since we're cruising over Christmas on a Saturday, maybe that's why there's so much traffic. I don't know. But anyway, we are on our way en route. We'll update soon, right? Yep. Hey. See you there. So if you've never sailed on Disney out of Fort Lauderdale, their terminal was actually Terminal 4. So if you're driving or catching an Uber, go to Terminal 4. The check-in process is fairly easy. They have signage everywhere and people there to help. So we just went through and did our normal check-in procedure and we were on our way. I will say that the terminal is absolutely beautiful. And the best part is they still have the yellow Mickey ears. So you can go through the Mickey ears, even though it's in Fort Lauderdale. Um, and so we are walking to the ship, bon voyage to the ship. Walking on up. Here's the ship. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> sure is. Best day ever. <laughs> Walking on the gangway, going to the dream for our Christmas cruise. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Our room was ready pretty much right at 1 30. It's yeah. gonna be amazing. It is gonna be amazing. Okay, open That's the okay. door. 6544. Four. Okay. <laughs> In we go. Whoa, that was super fast. I opened the door and to my surprise, look at that. Our bags are here already. We've been in our room for like five minutes and the bags are here. That is amazing. So we decided to go to Animal's Palette for lunch because we figured the buffet would be busy. And in the Royal Palace? No, it's at Animator's Palette. I don't need an excuse to go to Animator's Palette. It's one of my favorites on Disney Cruise. I don't think that they'll be doing like the animations that they usually do, but I'm sure the food will be good. And at least we'll get a seat and we don't have to Search for one. Right, so we got our menu at Animated Palette. Thank you. And got some good choices. Got the appetizers from the kettle. A bunch of entrees. Welcome aboard Sunday. Wink, wink. And the tips options. So, I don't know. I think I might do the salad or the soup. And I want to try that pasta, the panetta pasta, panette pasta. And 
this this is the winner all right potato and leek soup kitties have their pasta rice carb loading <laughs> and vegetables and hubby has salad and soup this is good is it i good. tried to super this is the penne pasta some pesto, spinach pesto, and um, tomato basil sauce. It looks delicious. I'm full from <laughs> the bread and the soup. But we're gonna give it a go. Looks delicious. All right, so clearly I really like this dish. <laughs> I think if I have a tip, it would be definitely to come to the sit down restaurant of your sailing. It changes, but for us, it was animated palette. I didn't have to go to the buffet and fight for a table and look for a table. Um, the menu is a lot smaller, but it's delicious food. You get wait staff and you're waited on by lovely, friendly service. And uh, yeah, that is a tip, beautiful. especially if you're really tired, like we were. And now for the welcome aboard Sunday. Yum, 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 yum. What is it, babe? Is it carrot cake or? Caramel? Let's see. The atrium is absolutely stunning. It's all decorated for Christmas. I just, honestly, I am in love with the chandelier. After lunch, our kids were dying to go to Kids Club, so we took them and let them have a peek and a run around. It was open house at the time, but they were doing registration, so we did sign them up so that once the ship set sail, they were all ready to go. Now, open house is the only time when adults are allowed in the Kids Club spaces, so if you want to check it out with your child and see if it's a good fit, if your child will like it, then make sure you go during the open house sessions. Just doing a little embarkation day outfit check, doing my little mini ears right here. I have on this kind of like a boxy crop sweatshirt. It's really nice and soft and fleecy on the inside. I got it from Target. It is quite like boxy, but it's cozy. It's definitely oversized. And it says Santa Baby because I'm on a Christmas cruise. I just paired it with this striped like black and white sweater. I really like how that kind of peeks through. My Lululemon leggings, super comfy, and some comfortable flip flops that I've worn a bajillion times. So that is the fit for today. All right, so I'm on the balcony. We're all settled in our room. Um, my first time on the Disney Dream. So far, so good. Obviously, we all have our favorite cruise ships, and is the Disney Dream my favorite? Not that I've seen so far, but it's the first day, so who knows? All right, so we're about to get ready to go to the mustard drill. Don't lean on that, honey. We're about to get ready to go to the mustard drill and see what else is going on for the night. Um, before I do that, let me just swing the camera around and show you guys what the port looks like. So that's the gangway right there that we walked in. That's the cruise terminal. And it's like nine ships in today, which might explain the whole traffic situation. Apparently, it's, that's a lot for this cruise port. Nine or 12, I think they said. So I think because it's Christmas, there's just a lot of cruise ships leaving. So yeah, very busy, lots of traffic, lots of people, but at least we're settled now begin to enjoy our vacation.
kids are gonna go check out the basketball court and some mini golf and then we'll get ready for dinner and see what else we get up to. Oh wow, good Teo, nice. Go on Kaya, shoot in. Nice. All right, go Kaya. That was like the last time. Nice. It's beautiful out. Look at all of these cruise ships. You have the Odyssey of the Seas, Princess Cruise, Viking Cruise, Carnival, Norwegian. They're all in today, <laughs> setting sail for the week of Christmas. when they play the horn no so we're heading out it's a bit breezy tonight so they anticipate us to have a bit of um, a little choppy but not too bad they said like seas are like six feet waves so hopefully it's not too bad I'm not prone to motion sickness Anxiety. Anyway, there's the water, and then this is from the pilot boat as we sail into the sunset. I'm really excited for this trip. I will say that on embarkment day, the night before, make sure that you get enough rest because I am, I had like maybe four hours of sleep. And it's making me just so tired right now. There's so many fun events going on tonight, like the tree lighting and stuff that, of course, I'm going to go to. But I feel like I'm so tired. I'm just not even, like, with it, you know? And I'm not as energized as I normally would be. So, advice. Make sure you get enough sleep for embarkation day. It takes a lot out of you. It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of just, like, <laughs> here in my mouth. A lot of mental processing to deal with all the people and you don't know where you're going so eight hours of sleep you need it trust me all right so we're just gonna chill in the room kids are in the kids club and take a breather for a moment and get ready for dinner and the tree lighting and the golden Mickey show so it's definitely gonna be a fun night I just need some coffee let's go do that I don't know her name but she's playing like all the hits violin and canto all right so first night we are eating at royal palace let's go in and see come on clean your hands let's go in and see what the deal is I guess the whole theme of this restaurant is like royalty and princess. Um, so I don't know, it's really pretty. It has a lot of like chandeliers. All the wait staff are dressed like princes or knights, something to do with royal families. So this is the menu, appetizers, soup and salad, bread service with olive spread. I love olive spread. Main courses, we have a pasta, Salmon, duck breast, lamb, the steak. I always get the steak because it's good. Vegetarian options and lighter offerings. Thank you. Oh, the bread's so good. This is the kids' menu at the Royal Palace. One thing I do notice is the kids' menu is kind of repetitive, like no matter which restaurant you're in. All right, here is the French onion soup, glass of Moscato. Kids got what you got, bud? Garden salad? Yeah, garden salad. It's always like goofies. Like who? Goofies? Yeah. All right. Yum yum. Yeah. So that was a no. I uh, tasted it. Not a fan. Can't wait for the steak to come out. All right. Here is the steak with some mashed potatoes, or they call them new potatoes, with some butter, green beans. Bon appetit! 
Okay, so we have here a tofu and couscous with some peppers and zucchini and yeah. I'm gonna dig in and see what it tastes like. Safe to say I like that. <laughs> Did add some salt and pepper, made the potatoes a little bit seasoned, but overall it was a really good dish. It was. How was yours? It was good. Great. Nice. And Hubs, what do you think? Well, his is almost gone too, so he must like his. On to dessert. So we just got the dessert menu, and I love how it comes like an envelope, like a royal envelope. So we have some specialty drinks, coffees, after teenies, and dessert. I already know what I'm getting. Grand Brulee, 100%, my favorite. They have a souffle, tart, tatine, and a sundae as well. Strawberry shortcake sundae, which sounds great, but I only have space for one dessert, and creme brulee wins every single time. We have dessert, and Kaya, what do you have? Ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Mateo, what do you have? Oh, you took your Mickey off. What is that? An apple tart? It's like a kid's apple tart, and an ice cream, yum yum. I have Grand Brulee and it looks great. I am so excited to try this with a little biscotti cookies. And Daddy, what do you have? Food? <laughs> Apple time. All right, let's get into it. So there's a way to know if you have a good Grand Brulee. If when you hit it, it makes a crack, then you know it's a good Grand Brulee. Like, if this ain't happening, it's not a good crème brûlée. Cracked, it's crispy, I think we're in for a good one. So said, so done, crack happened, crème brûlée is calm. It's really good. Good, glad you like it. Mine's just good too. It's good. This is probably the best thing I ate tonight, which is sad because it's dessert, but hey, I'm eating all of this, all out of it. It's all getting eaten. All right, just came back from dinner, and what's our towel animal tonight, guys? Looks like a crab. Looks like a crab, I think. And we got some chocolates, the dove ones, which we like. Yeah. I like that towel animal. Can, I, can somebody help? What do you need help with? Oh, look, guys, your bed's been pulled down. Cool. This, this is so cozy. It is cozy. And I love that they always have the little like twinkle light there. That's I cool. I'm gonna sleep up there. So we are currently in the atrium lobby area and everyone is gathered around the big Christmas tree waiting for the tree lighting ceremony. Big crowd out. And I think all the characters are gonna show up, so let's see what happens.
the Disney Dream, Donald is like the featured statue in the atrium. So that's his little cute statue. And it's all decked out with the most beautiful Christmas decorations, the jewel tone, holly decorations. And it goes all around the atrium levels. It's gorgeous. Just giving you a quick look. And then of course the chandelier is stunning. And the tree! Right, currently at Walt Disney Theater. We cannot record in here, like record the show. But waiting to see the Golden Mickeys. I've heard it's a really good show. I've never seen it, so I'm really excited. And shoot, it's starting. No. Oh, they're excited. So we're just in the atrium, and they have some like a hot cocoa and chocolate chip cookie station set up. So I just got my hot cocoa after seeing the Golden Mickeys, which was actually a really good show. Um, I really enjoyed it, but yeah, I thought that was a sweet touch, hot cocoa and chocolate chip cookies before bed. This is the lovely gingerbread house, made out of real gingerbread, like 750 pounds, pounds. 700, 750 pounds of gingerbread dough, 3,050 gingerbread bricks, Icing sugar, 160 pounds, and it took 10 days to make. That is amazing. What happened? Then there's also a little fireplace on the inside, which is such a cute touch. You can smell that it's real, like you can smell the sweets coming from it. Beautiful. And let's enjoy our hot cocoa. Just hanging out in the lobby. We just saw the Golden Mickeys. Such a good show. I've never seen it before, but it was really inspirational. If you're a fan of Walt Disney and the whole Disney franchise and all the different movies, I think you really like the story. Very inspirational. So, I don't know what we're gonna get into next, but it's been a great first day. Maybe I'll end the video here. Um, we're probably just gonna go to bed and get the kids ready for a full day tomorrow. So that video will be coming out soon and I hope you enjoy the series. I've never really vlogged on this channel before but I wanted to give it a go and see how it went and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Yes, it is time to go. My kids need me. See you later. Bye.